I let my tape rock to my tape pop. Super weed and bamboo sipping on private stock. Way back when I had the. Hey guys, so I just want to do a quick video over just some of the foundations that I've tried and that I've liked and ones that I've tried that I didn't really like that much. Um, so a little background is my skin is super dry originally like by itself and then I've been doing some acne treatments um, and some acne cream so it's actually been even drier than say normal so it's like extra extra dry right now. Um, so when I, I just wanted to give that background because when I talk about certain foundations and how they were dry on my skin and didn't work, like that doesn't necessarily mean they won't work on your skin if you just have like a little bit of dryness or just normal. Mine's just extreme, extreme dry. So first thing I want to start off with is, um, products that I've tried and that I love. So, um, first, um, I'm going to talk to you about this Josie Moran Vibrancy. I've talked about this a lot. Um, I'm not even sure, like, I'll probably pronounce all these foundations wrong. I'm not sure how to pronounce them, but that's how I say it. Um, this is a good full coverage, so I like this a lot um, in the summer and in the winter, either one. Um, it is very glowy, dewy. It doesn't settle in your lines. It gives you, like, I have a really, really, a really, really big um, pimple right there. Um, but this is what I have on right now, as you can see, and it's pretty glowy, dewy. Um, I didn't have to mix anything with it to get that shine. So this is probably my number one go-to that I wear the most for, like, going out, anything. I love it. Um, my number two would probably be the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is, I would say, more of a medium coverage. I wear this more in the winter no, I wear this more in the summer because it is like a lighter uh, coverage, so I don't need a ton of coverage in the summer. Um, I really like this. It also gives you that dewy, luminous glow. Um, I don't mix anything with this either, and it seems to work really well. I don't set any of my foundation just because I want that glow. I want that dew, and I've tried setting it with different stuff that is for dry skin, and it just ends up caking and peeling and flaky and so I just don't set my makeup with anything. I know that's probably like the worst but that's what I do. Um, I will say before I do any foundation I always put on the CeraVe um, moisturizer either this one or the light um, coverage one and I always do that before I put anything on. Um, so I don't wear a lot of matte foundations, but I do have a couple that if I do want, maybe for a wedding or something, I want more, um, of that matte looking for photos or whatever. Um, I do have a couple that I would choose from. Um, first that I really like is a YSL. It's the All Hours Foundation. Um, I like this a lot. One thing um, that I like about this is it does not cling to my dry patches. This is full coverage. And I guess when I say that this, it says it's a matte foundation, but it looks more just like skin on me. Like, I don't feel like it gives a super full, intense matte. So that's probably why I like this um, a lot. Um, when I'm going to wear this, as well as when I wear most... Um, matte foundations always add an oil to it so usually either the um, Jessica Alba Honest Beauty oil I will add that I just mix it in stir it up and then apply it or I'll use this um, Timeless Organics skincare oil um, it's the replenishing radiance oil I like this a lot I um, heard about this from Jess Southern y'all know I love her and she had posted this on her blog and so I tried it and it works fabulous it just makes everything look smooth and so I really like that with my matte foundation so it doesn't it doesn't add the glow in these foundations but it um, definitely gives like a smooth cover so you don't get flaky and dry. One thing I don't love about this is um, it oxidizes a lot so when you when you put it on it's gonna get darker than what your skin is so you need to go like a shade lighter if you're gonna get this. That's one thing that I've noticed about this that I don't love. Um, another matte one, well it doesn't say it's matte, but it's more matte, it's not really glowy either, it's the La Mer. So I don't really find this to be glowy, but I don't find it to be matte either. So it's more of just, again, just looks like your skin. 
Um, when I use this, I do mix the Radiance Oil in with it as well. Um, and it gives me a good amount of coverage. And this is like special, special, special occasions because this stuff, a lot of money for a foundation, I think. Um, I ordered this offline. I don't know if you all have seen it. I don't think you can get it in any stores. It's purely online. I L. I have no idea. But, um, I like this. It's, um, again, it doesn't say it's matte. It just says a flawless base foundation. It says woke up like this. Um, again, this is more like skin. Um, but I would still, I still put the oil in with this or I don't like it. Um, okay, so now we'll, oh, let's do one more that, like, I like, don't love, but like. Um, that is the Makeup Forever stick. So I've never been a big fan of sticks because they are just not good with dry skin. Um, this one, what I do is I will put on the moisturizer before, and then I'll put on some oil just on my face, let all that soak in, and then I go in, apply the stick, then I take a brush. You cannot get this to blend with a beauty blender, or I can't. I get a brush. I spray it with um, with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I just spray my brush brush with that, and then I buff it out pretty much, and that works pretty well. Um, so this is the one stick. This is stick is supposed to be made for people with dry skin. Um, but if I use it by itself, I just, I don't like it. I'm very picky, but I just, I don't like it. Um, so now I'm going to do some that I hate. Okay. First up, I mean, people are going to die over this because these ones that I hate are like what I see all over Instagram. I mean, people love it. They just, they love them. Um, so probably going to be a little surprised. First one is the It Cosmetics. It looks like I've used a lot, but really, and just these kind of tubes, they just start to suck in afterwards. But this is just the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. Tried this. Very full coverage, which is a plus. Very, very drying. Not good for dry skin. Hated it. I mean, it, it just, if you had any blemish, acne, anything, it just, it caked right to it. And it just looked like a little patch you just wanted to peel off. And I cannot stand when I'm at work or whatever and I go in the bathroom just to check on my makeup and it looks awful. And I'm like, these are, this is what my patients have been seeing all day and it looks terrible. Um, another one that I do not like is the Milk Blur Liquid. This says matte foundation. I did not really find it to be matte, which is really weird. But I did find it to get in my laugh lines, which is one of my biggest um, concerns when I'm getting makeup. It went right in my laugh lines. And I don't really have bad um, forehead lines other than just this pimple. I don't have really bad forehead lines. This made it look like I had a ton of forehead lines and it aged me so much. So this was a no for me. This I haven't heard that people like. I haven't heard much about it at all, so I don't know, but it was a no for me. The next one, I see people use this all the time. Weddings, daily, people love it. I mean, they just go on and on about it. And I've tried it different ways with different primers, different moisturizers, oil, you name it, I've tried it. Because people have just raved about this. I don't like it. It does not do well with my skin type. Are you ready? Okay. Estee Lauder Double Wear. It's a no for me. Um, don't like it at all. It gets into every crease. It accentuates every blemish I have. It cakes to every dry patch I have. Everything. This is going to show it. It shows it on me. I can't say that for everybody because so many people rave about this, so it has to be good. I mean, this even gets like under in my eyes, under here, and makes gets in the creases and makes just makes me look older. Um, I was really trying this when I was going through um, the acne problems that I was having because everybody swore that this just covered everything up. And I will give it, it is like the highest coverage foundation I've ever tried. Um, but it wasn't worth it to cover up the acne and then to look, you know, 10 years older than I was. I just, this is a big, big no for me. Um, one more that I do want to share that I like, 
forgot about this one because it's in the back. You guys, look at all this foundation I have, which may not be a lot to you, but I think it is because it's, it's quite a bit. But let's see if I can turn this. Okay, so I'm going to let me turn it. So here's this. Like all of this. I have a whole bucket full. Plus I have some um, in my vanity drawer that I've gotten like samples from, from Sephora. Um, some that I haven't even tried yet. So I have a lot, a lot of foundations. I feel like mainly because I was trying to find stuff that worked well with my skin to cover up the acne. So that's how where I feel like all of the foundations and skincare and everything come into play. So I got to try all that stuff out when I was trying to clear my acne. None of that worked. Now that I got my acne under control, um, I can tell you about the products I liked, didn't like, what worked, what didn't help, what made it worse. Um, one foundation that I do want to rave about, can't find it, down here. Um, and this is only online as well too, is the Frankie Rose. This says it's a matte perfection foundation. This I do not find to be matte, I find again to be like, um, just like your normal skin. It doesn't have a glow, but it doesn't have a matte. So I, I've, obviously if you haven't seen the pattern, anything that I say I like matte isn't a true matte foundation because anything that's a true matte foundation, I'm not gonna like apparently. Um, but this is really good. This is good coverage. Um, I would call this medium to full, like you can add a couple extra um, spots wherever you need extra coverage at. Um, this is a really, really good one. Um, I can't remember. Who introduced this? Oh, um, I don't know her name, but I know her beauty blog is Nashville Wife Styles. I don't know. I'll try to find it and link it because she has the best content. I follow her a lot. Um, and she actually introduced me to this. And she, they have a whole line of stuff that she uses. Um, but I just tried the foundation and I really like this. So, that's pretty much all I have for the biggest ones that I love, don't love, what works for me, for my skin, if you're dealing with um, acne treatments that make it drier. Um, hopefully this helped you out and you liked it. Thanks, guys.